We've had a, a win and a defeat since the last episode, and we're also through in the next round of the AFL Cup, so things are going really, really well. We're in the top half, and we've got two winnable games today. Um, Grant, the second one is a lot more unlikely than the first one, but we'll try our best anyway. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 3 of the Palace Push. And today we have uh, a game against West Ham and then against Arsenal, both in the Premier League since last episode. As I said, we've had a win and a draw. Uh, sorry, you know, a win and a loss and through the, the next round of the Cup. So, overall positive. Um, Man United... We lost 5-0, Ibrahimovic scored a hat-trick, not much you can do about that, but then we beat Newcastle 3-0, Benteke scored a hat-trick there, so we're through the fourth round of the EFL Cup, and then we beat Bournemouth 4-0 at home, Sackle, uh, Mil- Milovjevic, uh, Kabai and Punchin score in there, so we've got West Ham today, and hopefully um, that'll be a good... Uh, a chance to get another victory. We're ninth in the Premier League at the moment, so things are looking really, really good. Um, hopefully, I've sorted out the issues of the the sort of choppiness, I guess, during the three D replays. You guys will have to let us know ultimately, but certainly from other videos I've recorded, it seems to have improved. I sort of um, improved the the settings of OBS. Uh, using a very very helpful video so if, if you guys want to know that let me let me know and I'll pass it on to you but um, anyway enough about that rubbish let's have a look at the team for today I've got Hennessy in goal and I've got Kelly, Dan, Sacco and Schlupp in defence we've got Kabai and Milovjevic in midfield with Zahar punching and Townsend starting behind Christian Benteke up front um, I mean Dembele has only played a couple of games so far he started the one against Man United. We haven't played him since because Benteke has been playing so well. But we may well bring him in today. What's going on with the league table? Why is it over there? And why is it only small? Let's do that. And let's make it a bit bigger as well. Um, do that. Why not? Zaha now. Into the middle, Benteke. And it's away. Chicharito. I was very tempted to do a West Ham save, um, but I decided against it because Crystal Palace were doing so badly, and that really appealed uh, to me. They, they've now made it seven games where they haven't scored a goal and lost every single game, but Christian Benteke has no knowledge of that. That's his eighth goal of the season, and he's just posed 1-0 up against West Ham, and where will that put us in the league? I'm pretty sure we'll probably be in the top seven now, which would be... a, a Phenomenal achievement for a Crystal Palace side that <laughs> lie bottom of the table after seven games, you know, pretty much a fifth of the season gone, and um, they're the languishing bottom of the table uh, with no points and no goals. But Ben Tech A has just well made a made a mockery of Joe Hart there. I don't know what happened, uh, but let us know how the quality of that replay was down in the comments. Um, and we are up to sixth, and we could go up to 5th if we score another goal today, so here's Schlupp Schlupp down this left hand side, we've been preferring him to Suarez since uh, I don't know, the last few matches, I don't know if we did in the last episode, but he seems to be doing pretty well, so we'll put him in there, he's got Premier League title winning um, ability and I tell you what Jason Punchin has just scored a fabulous goal there, Townsend to Ben Teke to Punchin, who absolutely thumped it into the top corner. We are going to reduce the replay speed a little bit because I realise that might be a cause of the, the choppiness um, when it's rendering. So we will uh, turn that down a little bit and then you can let us know which was better, the first replay or hopefully the third. And this is going to be the third. So Ben Teke with his ninth goal of the season now. And we're 3-0 up within half an hour. And at home, we look really, really promising really really promising and it's great to see actually um, <clears throat> punching away on out of it to Rocker to Byram Hennessy gets it 
it, it actually feels a little bit choppy today, just the game, and, and that's not a usual thing, so I don't really know what's going on here. Here's Zaha, that's a penalty, and Christian Benteke is going to get the chance of scoring his hat-trick here. Another hat-trick, that, that'll be two in three games for Christian Benteke. Yellow card for Jose Font, and, well, Benteke scores his hat-trick. Tenth goal of the season, and what a player he has been. We're fifth in the Premier League, we're looking very good, we're confident. <laughs> Is Europe on the cards this season? After seven games, look at the difference between us um, in FM17 and Crystal Palace in real life. <laughs> And surely the possibilities are endless, but you know, when you're talking good things, Javier Hernandez goes up the other end and scores his eighth goal of the season, so he's obviously been a good signing for West Ham. I really thought he would be a good sign. I don't know how that's really transpired in real life, but um, West Ham 4 2, and all of a sudden we're not fifth anymore, we'll go down to uh, sixth again. And Fonts just scored, made up for. Conceding that penalty, and within 35 minutes, there's already been six goals, so that just about says everything. <sighs> Nearly seven. And Joe Hart on the ball now. Can he get it away? Yes, he can. Punching now to Ben Teke, to Milovjevic, to Punchin. That was, that was poor. Considering what he did earlier in the match, that was poor. Here's Dan on the ball now to Kelly, to Kabai, to Punchin. To Dan, to Milovjevic, to Benteke, who scores his fourth, 5-2. Within 37 minutes, it's 5-2. This match could seriously have double figures. What a goal that is from Benteke with his left foot. He's just about done everything today, Milovjevic. Chicharito, oof, off the post. And somehow that went out of play and spun back into it that's that was quite amazing actually um but no there we have it half time 5-2 what a, a performance we will tell them not to get complacent but christian benteke we are very very happy with you what a half of football 5-2 goodness me kelly now oh kelly's going to be sent well how how's he not been sent off very, very lucky. Very lucky. <sighs> now then, 55 minutes gone. Time to make a substitution. Um, we're going to bring Reyes on. We haven't seen much of him recently. Uh, Punchin is going to come off. We're going to move Kabai up and bring in Malumbu and give them two a run out. Hennessy away. Kelly's going to have to be careful. Kelly's got to be off this time. He got away with it once. He's not going to get away with it again. He's off. So that's going to cancel with substitutions, as the football manager annoyingly does. Um, so Joel Ward will come on for, I guess, Kabai. And, and we just do that. Maybe even move these back into the midfield and just go 4-4-1 four, 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 for the rest of the game and see... How that transpires. Reyes on the ball. Milovjevic forward to Christian Benteke now. Benteke! Oof, nearly scored his fifth. Can he get his double hat trick? That would be pretty insane, wouldn't it? Um, We're back up to fifth, by the way, which is really, really good. Um, Reyes into the middle. It's away by Chicharito. He has Lanzini. Good tackle by Sacco. It's away. Here's Benteke. Reyes. And that's forward again to Benteke. Christian Benteke. Surely that wasn't a shot. 20 minutes to go. It's it's looking good. It's looking good at the moment. Byram in the middle. Why? Why do I keep jinxing us? Andre Ayew has just scored. Byram with the assist and... Yeah, just a classic FM17 goal there, to be honest with you. Here's Dan, now Sacco, Malumbu, Benteke, Lanzini, Ayu, 
Byram. For goodness sake, I thought that was going to be 5 4 there. Chicharito had a very good chance. Ward. Chicharito. No. Oh, what a save. What a save from Hennessy. Surely we can't. Oh, is it a p No, it's offside. I thought it was a penalty. Oh, that would have been a very intense last 10 minutes. Zaha to Ben Teke. That's a great save from Joe Hart. That was a really, really good save. Uh. Reyes into the middle. Ward. Ben Teke has scored his fifth. And that has sealed the match for us. 6-3 now. Really good result. Reyes with the corner. Ward with the assist. Ben Teke with the goal. And can he get his double hat trick in these last 10 seconds? Doesn't look like it. That's going to be full time. We win 6-3. And that's going to give us a lot of confidence. Which is surely going to be battered by Arsenal in the next game. Um, let's see if there's any notices about goals in the game. No, but um, yeah, we've now got to go and play Arsenal. All oh, the joys. Well, it's a different day and I've got to change of clothes, but it's still going to be the uh, Arsenal match that we've got today. And uh, yeah, you might hear a little bit of an echo. I've just had um, my room redecorated and a brand new telly on the wall. Um, so I don't know. Some of the stuff's off the shelves and stuff, so I don't know if the sound... I'll be as good as it usually is, but uh, yeah, we've got the Arsenal match, and this is the team we're going to go for, Shea Given will start in goal, his first Premier League appearance of the season, Wayne Hennessy's injured for two weeks, so Given will be getting a couple of games. Um, yeah, Joe Ward, Scott Dan, Sacco and Schlupp will start in defence, Much, uh, Milovjevic and... Um, uh, well, we'll start in midfield with Zaha, Punchin and Reyes behind Christian Benteke up front. Um, yeah, we're going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb so we don't get vibrated all all day long. Jordan Much starting his first Premier League game of the season. couple of risky ones in there. We could get absolutely thumbed today, but um, even so, I think we'll be happy with how the start of the season has gone. Nobody is expecting us to win today, so hopefully... We can go out and, and get a good result. Here's Lacazette. That's forward to Giroud, but a good interception by Sacco. Giroud was offside anyway. But we weren't on that. Um, yeah, I'm quite nervous for this match. We could have a, a bit of a thumping on, on our hands. Lacazette. That's a good save by Shea Given. 41-year-old now. One of my heroes, Shea Given, because... In my past years as a, a player at school and stuff, I was a goalkeeper and Shea Given was most definitely the hero, uh, along with Petr Cech. He's not a hero today though, Mesut Ertel has put us 1-0 up and I think Given could have probably done better. Um, but we'll have a look on the replay in 3D and hopefully things will be just as unjittery if you like. Uh, <laughs> If that's a word. Um, yeah. So. Giroud to Welbeck to Giroud. And then Mesut Ertil. Mm, we'll let him off. I don't think he would have saved it anyway. But he shouldn't. He should have dove for that much away. He has Cazola. Now Reyes. Against his former club. That's forward. But he loses it. And Bellerin on the ball. Good tackle by Punch and Schlupp. Forward to Christian Benteke, the man who scored five goals in the last game, remember. He has Jordan Much, Milovjevic, punching forward to Benteke, who puts it in the back of the net and scores his sixth goal of the episode, his 13th goal of the season, and puts us on level terms with Arsenal. A beautiful ball through by um, Punchin, but Mustafi really should be looking at himself in the mirror after that one. That was terrible from him. Ozil into the middle, and Mertesack has managed to put it into the back of the net. He hit the the bar, and then it fell to his his foot, and not much Given could do that time, I don't think. Um, yeah, Given was already on the floor. So you're not getting a 41 year old up quicker than that. <clears throat> he has Mesut Ozil, and uh, Given makes a save. 
it's good to see given away. But 2-1, I think we'd take that to be honest at half time. Uh, and we can regroup, get them back in, uh, maybe make a substitute or two. Uh, I think the attacking midfield has really not shown what they're capable of, especially Reyes. So we're going to bring on Andros Townsend for Reyes and see what Townsend can do. Here's Zaha on the right hand side. Good tackle by Nacho Monreal there. So, uh, almost 60 minutes gone now. Punching. Apparently not having a great game, but uh, I disagree with that. I think Punchin's having a good game, but we are going to bring him off. We're going to bring on Yusuf Malumbu and swap him round with him and hope that he can play as a, a deep line player maker. He can. So, yeah, um, that's two substitutes now that we've made. Uh, we might bring Moussa Dembele on a little bit later. Um, see if he can make an impact. 70 minutes gone. I think t now's that time to make that impact, Mr. Dembele. Here's Walcott on the ball. That's forward to Wilshire. Mertesack has scored his second. I don't know what Mertesacker was doing up there. I'm, I'm guessing it was a free kick. Uh, it was. So and it was Walcott to Wilshire. And then Mertesacker scores. And it's now 3 1. Shea given. Having a 6.8, so. That's sort of implying that he hasn't had much to do with the um, the goals that have been conceded. So we'll let him off here as well, Chef. Into the middle and Walcott scored another one. It's 4-1 four, four, now and it's starting to look like a much worse result. Uh, this is more what we expected this season, given perhaps could have done better there. Um, Arsenal back to fifth in the league. Can we get another consolation goal here? Oh, we don't want to concede another goal. Good tackle by Ward. Now we're on the counter-attack. Jordan much to Zaha. Zaha down this right-hand side. Into the middle and Dembele scores. His second goal of the season. And, well, Zaha with the assist there. And a nice little finish from Musa Dembele. Nothing Petacek could do and it's 4-2. And, um, you know, it's a little bit more respectable. But still too many goals conceded, especially now that Mertesack has gone and scored a hat-trick. <laughs> per Mertesack has scored a hat-trick. Goodness me. But that just shows that it's set pieces that's done this. It's not a defensively terrible display. That took a huge deflection on the way through. And 6-2 now. But poor Shea Given on his return to the Premier League. Well, there you go, 6 2 at full time, and we've been taught a bit of a lesson there from Arsenal. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to take that, I'm afraid. Uh, take it on the chin, and we will do that. Um, but yeah, when are we going to come back? That is the question. I've got two games against Brighton coming up. Uh, shall we do this? Um, little bit here we'll do Liverpool and Tottenham in the next episode I'll go away and play some games and then um, we'll see how we're getting on so if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below it really does mean a lot for me and for the channel and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye